I'm Michael from Messenger Bag Media, and today I'm going to show you more amazing time-saving keyboard shortcuts for Mac OS to help save you time and optimize your workflow. If you haven't seen part one to this video yet, click the info button in the top right corner. These first few shortcuts are key when it comes to easily and efficiently moving between your applications and tabs you may have open in your internet browser. Let's jump in. If you've used a Windows computer before, you may be familiar with Control-Tab to move between all your applications. On Mac, you use Command-Tab. If you simply press Command-Tab, it will move to your most recently used application. If you hold down Command-Tab, you'll see a complete list of all your open applications. You can press Tab over and over to select the next app in the row, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to go back and forth. You can even use your mouse to highlight and select. Once you've selected the application you want to switch to, let go of the command key. You can also do the shortcut right away to immediately switch between your two most recently used apps. Command tabbing through applications may be a fairly well-known keyboard shortcut on Mac, but what about when you want to move between several windows in the same application? Use command tilde, which is right next to the number one on your keyboard. This shortcut is especially useful if you're working in multiple Word docs, Excel sheets, Safari windows, or really any application with multiple windows. Don't underestimate the amount of time shortcuts like these can save you. When you're using Safari and you've got several tabs open, it can be frustrating to click back and forth between each tab, especially if you need information from them over and over. Use Control Tab to tab between your tabs. Say that five times fast. This shortcut only moves left to right in order and then circles back to your first tab. If you want more direct control, use Command Shift left bracket to move your tab to the left. Use Command Shift right bracket to move to the tab to your right. You're probably already familiar with one of the more basic shortcuts, Command-N, which opens up a new window in pretty much any application. In Safari, sometimes you may want to open up a new private browsing window. To do this, use Command-Shift-N. So what exactly is private browsing? Well, anything you view privately isn't tracked in your browser history and your cookies aren't stored. I use this option a lot when I want to view a non-cached version of a page or if I want to sign in to a site with a different login without signing myself out in my main batch of Safari windows. Sticking with Safari, you're constantly going up to the address bar to either enter in a URL or a Google search. But what if you didn't have to constantly move your mouse or open a new tab to do that? Just use Command L to access the address bar and then type in the website URL or Google search instantly. Another way to become a Mac power user and to optimize your workflow can be to utilize multiple desktops. No, I'm not talking about having a series of separate monitors, although that can be helpful. I'm talking about using multiple virtual desktops. If you press F3 on your keyboard, on an Apple keyboard, it may also have an icon of three squares on it. You'll see all your open windows fan out. You can then use your mouse to select any of those windows and bring it to the front. You may also notice at the top of your screen, it says desktop one and desktop two. Here you can create and move between multiple desktops, so to speak. Use control tab and either the left or right arrow keys to move back and forth. These desktops can be great for housing certain batches of applications without constantly seeing them open or partially hidden behind your currently open applications. You can also use control tab up arrow to create the same fan effect as F3. Pressing control tab down arrow will bring your current application and all windows associated with it to the front. You can use the arrow keys to select any of the windows and then press enter to exit this state. Or you can press escape to go back to your regular desktop view. This next set of shortcuts will help you manage views across all apps and in Finder. Chances are you probably already know how to quickly quit an application, but just in case, I'll remind you that Command Q can be used to quit any application. This is substantially faster than going up to the menu bar and then selecting quit. But what about if an application is frozen and won't listen to any commands? 
Every so often, you may need to force quit an app. This is when an application has become unresponsive or is otherwise not listening to your commands or behaving properly. To close these instances, use command option escape, then use your arrow keys to select the app. Press enter, then reconfirm one more time that you want to force quit. Note that force quitting could mean that any unsaved progress will be lost, but unfortunately, when this happens, there isn't much you can do about it. After force quitting, you may be greeted by a diagnostic window the next time you open the application. Feel free to either report or ignore as you see fit. When you have several applications open at the same time, things can begin to get a bit overwhelming or at least chaotic. You can use Command M to minimize windows down into your dock or press the yellow minus icon in the top of any application, but this quickly creates the problem of a very expanded dock taking more and more space on your screen. Instead, try hiding your windows. Press Command H and suddenly all of the windows of your application are gone. It almost looks like you've quit the app, but you'll still notice the open app indicator in your dock. To bring your app windows back, either click on the app icon in your dock or use command tab to select the application and have everything appear again. Now, what about if you want to quickly but temporarily push all of your windows away so you can quickly see your desktop? On macOS Sonoma, you can click on any open area in the desktop to push everything away and see all the documents you've saved on your desktop. Click on any empty area again to bring back all of your windows. As a media production agency, at Messenger Bag Media, we constantly have external hard drives and SSDs plugged into our computers. You can eject drives by opening a finder window and pressing the little eject icon, but you can also select several drives at once on your desktop and then use Command E on your keyboard to eject them all at once. If you've only got one drive plugged in every so often, this may not be a major time saver, but as someone with six or more drives plugged in all the time, this definitely helps out. Our final shortcut for this video is how to easily access Spotlight, which is basically macOS system search. You can use this to find files, open applications, look up dictionary definitions, and so much more. Although Spotlight is accessible by clicking on the little magnifying glass icon in the top right of your menu bar, it's just so far away. Press command space to instantly bring up Spotlight search and then begin typing away. I find this particularly helpful for opening up lesser used applications like Calculator or if I'm trying to find an elusive file. I should also mention that if you have an Apple keyboard, you can also press F4 to do the same thing. And there you have it, several amazing, easy to use shortcuts to help improve your productivity and workflow and make you into a Mac power user. Several of these shortcuts also work on iPadOS if you have an external keyboard. Do you have any favorite shortcuts that we missed? Do you wanna see us focus on a certain application and all of its shortcuts? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, please leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really helps. This was a bit different from our other videos, but if you'd like to see more of this productivity-focused content, please let us know in the comments. If you're a media professional looking for tips and tricks to improve your photography, videography, and graphic design skills, check out our channel. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Messenger Bag Media is your one-stop media shop. If you require professional graphic design, videography, photography, web design, or any other media services at an unbeatable price, visit messengerbagmedia.ca. Reach out to us and let's create something amazing together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.